Hello and welcome back to Creativity Without Bounds. Today we'll see how to decorate a glass bottle, a very easy decoration which uses just four decorating materials. So let's get started. Begin by dividing one 5 mm quilling strip into four pieces. So this will form the petal for the second flower. You should have noticed by now that we are using three flowers for decoration. So these are the measurements for the second flower. Here you can see how to make one part of each petal. Just have to loop around two teeth of the comb, glue it well and then loop on the successive teeth as you go. The detailed procedure for making the flower is already up in a video. It has the measurements for the second flower. For the biggest flower you need to take in half a quilling strip instead of the one fourth we are using here. I'll also link the video in the description below. Do not forget to glue the center as you go, otherwise it will just open up when you remove it from the comb. Let's begin by making the leaves. Here we'll use one whole quilling strip. The procedure is almost similar to making the petals. Just with the difference is that you don't go around the center again and again. Uh, watch closely to know how it is done. This time you loop around three teeth and uh, glue it only on one side of the comb. And that is because only at one side will the strip overlap itself. Once you've reached the end of the strip, make sure you glue it only at the tip and not the entire remaining strip. It should look something like this on the other end and remove it very gently from the comb. Next you need to glue the flat part together by pressing through the center so that you can have clean folds. Now here you can see the tips of the leaves are rounded. You can leave it like this if you want but you can also go ahead a step and lightly press it to have pointed leaves. Paint the opening of the bottle with the color of your choice. I've used black acrylic color here and for the decoration I'll be using jute thread. I already got it colored. You can use the plain brown ones as well. Apply glue to small portions of the bottle as you go so that the thread sticks well to it. Now uh, you see the tiny little thread popping out, make sure you have it inside when you go around the bottle with the other thread in hand. And this thread should be held as tightly as possible 
to have cleaner windings around the bottle. Once you've reached the tip of the thread you're using, glue it well and then begin using the next thread from the very spot you ended it. Do not pull it tightly for the initial few rounds because otherwise you will have the beginning of the thread slip and create a gap from where you started it. This is how it will look once you're done with it. You can actually go all the way down or stop it as I have. Now you have the knot side facing you and that's where you start with the next decoration of yours which is sticking the lace so the beginning of the lace is right below the knot you had created in the beginning so using glue without pulling the lace uh, stick it around the bottom of the bottle and this is going to be tough because the this is cloth and it will keep on slipping but you can go around it gently and you will have it done Cut the lace in such a way that you know you do not disturb the pattern of the lace. A little bit of overlapping is fine so that you have a continuous design in hand. I had painted the opening of the bottle black because I was going in for an orange and black combination. 
you can have it with any color of your combination for the rest of the decoration the north side goes down and it is all about now sticking the flowers and leaves that you had made the third flower or the smallest flower is a little different it is a very simple quilling flower if you want more ideas regarding the flowers and leaves you can use you can go check out videos i've got detailed videos on five types of flowers as well as five types of quilling leaves you can use any combination of those to decorate the bottle you have in hand i preferred sticking all flowers in a single straight line but it is totally up to you to decide how you're going to place each and everything on your bottle It's now time to stick the leaves. I've got leaves in two different shades of green. It's totally up to you to decide their shade or if you want leaves at all in your decoration. We are almost done with the decoration but as final touches you can always go ahead and stick some white beads. White because the flower also has a white center. It's totally up to you but let me tell you it makes it look very beautiful. Now one thing you have to keep in mind is that uh, you do one side of the bottle at a time. Let that dry up and then only rotate the bottle to go at the other side because otherwise once if the glue has not dried you will have these beads moving around at every random place on the bottle. That was it for today's video and stay tuned for more such creative videos. Thank you.